in the name of Allah, the most merciful, most gracious and most beneficent. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Recite Quran in a good voice. Now, today we shall discuss here the mechanism of mitosis. Okay. As I told you already, uh, what is mitosis? What is its occurrence? What is the site of mitosis? What is the discovery of mitosis? What are the various types of mitosis? That part we have discussed. Now, today we shall take mechanism of mitosis before prophase. What is mechanism? Mechanism of mitosis or we can say phases of mitosis. Phases of mitosis. Mitosis is completed in two phases. The one is interphase, oh sorry, one is karyokinesis, another is cytokinesis. Okay. Number first, karyokinesis. Number second, cytokinesis. Mitosis is complete in two main phases. One is karyokinesis, another is cytokinesis. Okay. Now, what is karyokinesis? Karyokinesis. Karyokinesis. As the name indicates, karyon means nucleus. Karyokinesis means division of nucleus. Division of nucleus. It is called karyokinesis. Karyokinesis. Division of nucleus is called karyokinesis. Okay. Now, how karyokinesis occurs in mitosis? Karyokinesis is completed in four main phases. Karyokinesis is completed in four phases. Four phases. Number first, prophase. Number second is metaphase. Number third is anaphase. And number four is telophase. Prophase Metaphase, anaphase, telophase. All these are the four sub-stages of karyokinesis. So today we will uh, discuss here prophase, prophase only. Okay. What are the various changes which occur during prophase? Prophase in mitosis. Okay. Prophase. Prophase. As I have already uh, shown the diagram here, suppose this is this is nucleus, this is nucleus, and this is nucleolus, nucleolus. These are chromatin fibers. This is chromatin, chromatin fibers. Okay. So this is the condition of cell at interface. This is interface stage. As I told you already, cell cycle is completed in two phases. One is interface, another is M phase. Interface is non-dividing phase of cell cycle. Okay. This is interface, situation of cell in interface. This cell now undergoes cell division. So, uh, the prophase, prophase is the first stage after S and G2 phase or we can say it is the first phase of mitosis. Okay. Go, what are the various changes which occur during, uh, during prophase? First, we will write here, it is the first stage of mitosis. It is the first stage of mitosis. Number first point, it is the first stage of mitosis. Number one. Number second, it follows S and G2 of interface. It follows S 
and G2 phase of interface. Okay. As I told you in the previous lectures, interface is divided into three sub-stages. G1, S and G2. Okay. So G2 and S, S and G2 phases are now followed by through phase. Okay. Now what happens during proof phase? What are the various changes which occur during proof phase? This is very important. You are requested to remember these things properly. Number first is nuclear membrane starts to disappear. Nuclear membrane. Nuclear membrane starts to disappear. Nuclear membrane starts to disappear. Nuclear, nuclear membrane does not disappear completely, but it starts to disappear. Okay. Shabash, try to understand. Suppose this is cell. So nuclear membrane, I will show here in dotted line. Suppose this is nuclear membrane. It starts to dis appear okay this is nuclear membrane nuclear membrane it's a tortoise to disappear number next change fourth change nucleolus also set to disappear Nucleolus also starts to disappear. As you know, nucleolus is the little uh, body present inside of the nucleus. This is nucleolus. Nucleolus. I will show here it also in dotted, dotted lines. This is nucleolus. Nucleolus also starts to disappear. Okay. So what is the next change? which occurs during prophase that occurs in chrom chrom chromatin as I told you already chromatin is chromatin is present during interphase interphase now what happens to chromatin chromatin thrusts they undergo condensation that is they lose water when they lose water they become distinct and compact chromosomes chromatin Chromatin look undergoes undergoes condensation. Chromatin undergoes condensation that is loses water and becomes become compact compact and distinct chromosomes compact and distinct chromosomes okay what happens to chromatin chromatin because these are the chromatin threads they now become chromosomes distinct chromosomes suppose these are chromosomes chromosomes distinct chromosomes as condensation occurs in chromatin fibers, they lose water, chromosomes, chromatin is converted into compact and distinct chromosomes. Okay. Now the next change which occurs during prophase, proteinous matrix is deposited around the chromosomes. So they, they become more and more distinct. Proteinous matrix. Proteinous matrix is deposited proteinous matrix is deposited around chromosomes chromosomes so they become more more and more distinct 
so they become more and more distinct okay chromatin matrix is deposited around the chromosome so they become more and more distinct as you might have read already structure of chromosome chromosomes have two identical structures they are called chromatids who so chromatids also become visible and also they become distinct chromatids chromatids of chromosomes chromatids of chromosomes become distinct okay suppose this is chromosome this is one chromatid in another chromatid okay this is whole chromosome these two identical parts of the chromosome are called chromatids these chromatids also become distinct during prophase okay number next change which occurs during prophase that is centrioles 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 move towards poles these are centrioles this is centrioles centriole centriole is move towards poles centriole okay shall i try to understand centriole move towards opposite poles opposite poles of the cell okay This is one pole, the other pole. The two are centrioles. They also move towards the opposite poles of the cell. Another change which occurs during prophase that is ester rays. Ester rays are formed from centrioles. Ester rays. Ester rays are formed from centrioles. Ester rays are formed from centrioles. From central centrioles, ester ester rays are formed. Who? What are these ester rays? These are formed of microtubules. Ester rays are formed of microtubules. Ester rays are formed of microtubules. Ester rays are formed of microtubules. Suppose these are ester rays here. I will show here. These are ester rays. Ester rays. These. They are ester rays. Ester rays. So what is the function of these ester rays? Why they are formed? Ester rays. They keep centrioles in proper position. Okay. Ester rays. They keep centrioles in proper. position number next change ester rays ester rays keep centrioles in proper position ester rays keep centrioles in proper position okay so number next change number next change which occurs during prophase that is spindle spindle also starts to develop between the two centrioles spindle spindle also starts to develop spindle also starts to develop between centrioles between centrioles okay that is initiation of assembly of mitotic spindle occur that is initiation of uh, assembly of mitotic spindle occurs mitotic spindle occurs okay that is spindle starts to develop between the two centrioles i will show this spindle in the next next phase properly okay it 
now it only starts okay now the next change which occurs during prophase that is uh, viscosity of cytoplasm increases or we can say cytoplasm becomes more and more viscous cytoplasm cytoplasm becomes more and more viscous that is viscosity of cytoplasm increases okay so next and last change which occurs during prophase that is golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum also disappears in disappears disappears there it is they are not seen in the cell golgi complex golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum also not seen in cell So these are the different changes which occur during prophase, prophase of mitosis. So this diagram represents prophase. Prophase. This is prophase. So what happens in prophase? As I told you, I told you just nuclear membrane starts to disappear, nucleolus starts to disappear, condensation of chromatin fibers occurs. They become more and more distinct. This protein this matrix is deposited around the chromosomes. They become more and more distinct. Chromatids of chromosomes become more and more distinct. Centrioles move towards poles. Centrioles move towards poles. Astral rays are formed around the centrioles. Astral rays are formed of microtubules. They keep the centrioles in proper position. Spindle is also uh, so spindle also starts to develop between the two between the two centrioles. Okay, the cytoplasm cytoplasm becomes more and more viscous. Golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum they are also uh, not visible in the cell. Okay, these are various changes which occur during prophase of mitosis. So tomorrow we shall take it is next phase. That is called metaphase. So you prepare yourself for metaphase of mitosis on tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Thank you for this good cooperation.